what we do in our trade is we can either fit, fit copper piping, plastic piping, carbon steel piping, because everything in the world needs like piping to like function. At the end of this process, I'll come out of a level two and three in pipe fitting, city and girls, which is a, like which is basically your trade. So it's recognised at every comp every company. Well, the company uh, help you towards it. So you're not on full tradesman wages while I just training. You get the set wage. Once you've got this qualification, you can go on site, work in a workshop, go wherever you want, or you can even progress your training. So like a project control course to become a manager or even go on to university and do a degree in engineering. It's an ambition because I know Pipe is a brilliant job but you want to aim the highest you can in the industry. So by doing a project control course and getting a degree in engineering, even though it's going to take time, it'll work off beneficial for me. I feel lucky to do it because it's like I know half 16 year olds struggling to get licenses or a decent thing. Half them have to stay on at school even though they don't want to because they have nothing, nothing else to do. Maths is probably the most important thing about the trade, and um, just communication really. Because if you, like, you have to learn to get on with everyone, even if you don't like the person, you still have to work with them. So like work as a team to get the job done. Like you have to be very intelligent because you can't read the drawing someone gives you. You can't do the job. So you have to like understand drawings, measurements, working out tolerances, everything really. It's so, like you start like the whole college is starting to like ECI TV. are starting to like pick up more apprentices. Any support from the tutors if you need to, they could give you one to one. So like if you didn't get a lesson, you'd go up to their office or the room after it, or on the lunch. You'd even leave the lunch breaks to teach you and just say, "Will you stay here ten minutes and explain this again to me, or will you come over here and demonstrate this to me, or whatever you need to do?" Most I enjoy doing is making up jigs balls, like such as these. I made up a couple of them though. I made up a big one not so long ago, my mates. Um, probably like half the size of the table. Of like you have the drawing, loads of different angles on. So it took, takes like a couple of hours to work out the drawing, but once you've done it, you have all the cut sizes and get, get ready to go. As a pipe fitter, what I'll be doing, it's a lot of hands on. So you are like using your hands, like getting them, getting stuck in. But if you want to do a progress and cold course or anything else, you could be in the offices doing the drawings or whatever you wanted to do. Now, if school's not for them and you think they've got, they've got like, they'll put the effort in and they'll get up in the morning and they're like working with their hands, not scared of getting dirty, I think it's the right industry for them. I found out through connections. Um, I went down and they, we were looking at my colleges to go through. We were looking for an electrical thing and we found this one. And it's just really useful to me. Like, explained what pipe work was, what engineering was, what could lead you to, like, the career it could give you. Most schools now have a connection through the school, we'll come in a day or two a week. So you can go in and um, ask them questions, like what you want to do, like tell them you're not too sure, but what you have in mind, and they can help you, like lead you, guide you towards like, your career.